Hey guys, I just wanted you to know I didn't get anything from Sandman yet, but I did post the Zoom link for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what's going on with my lashes. Gosh, I'm not that good at it. I put them on early this morning because we had to get up and go get our pictures taken with our horses. Um, so anyways, my name is Melanie Hines. You guys know me because you're members, right? Um, oh, no, wait, maybe you don't. <laughs> My name is Melanie Hines. I'm the Faith and Financial Ninja. Uh, I help people strategize everything and Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. We were using our hats and I'm rubbing my dog right now. So listen, Sandman doesn't get, didn't give me anything new. So keep your prayers up there for Sandman 1 and 2 because they are in harm's way over there in the Gaza Strip. They have been, um, you know, they're in the military. And so we want to keep all of our military in prayer during this holiday season. And God bless all the families that have military people in harm's way. We just pray for you, too, because I know it's not easy. I'm married to a fireman. I understand. So, um, you know, it's just hard. But listen, I am going to bring you the summary like I always do. It's 1254 p.m., so it's a little earlier than usual because I want to spend some time with my hubby uh, this evening. So I wanted to get this out to you before my appointments start this afternoon. So this was Mountain Goat. So at least we now have a timeline when they did plan it and it still could do it based on what happens with the U.S. bombing issue. My contact did reiterate that the process now is irreversible and must go forward. Yes, the U.S. had already given assurances they would not back out if the CBI moved ahead. So all I can say is let's sit tight and watch what does happen in the coming week. Um, he, he, and the first, I hate when they do this, Part two of two, one of two. So now this is one of two. Um, same thing, Mountain Goat. I asked my Central Bank of Iraq contact what the next targeted steps were, and I was told that the committee does does not even know, and we're told to just stand by, and the CBI is going to try to push to continue as they are ready for the next steps in the process. I was told the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, is negotiating for the new peg for the dinar, but to remember, it impacts all countries in this new peg, not just Iraq. I was told that this is close to being completed and should be done this week ending. Yes. This lines up for next week to begin with the currency swap out, but they told me it is delayed until further notice. It says, so at least we now have a timeline that they did plan to do it. They still could do it based on what happens with the U.S. bombing issue. My contact did reiterate that the process now is irreversible and must go forward. The U.S. had already given assurances they would not back out if the CBI, if the Central Bank of Iraq moved ahead. So all we can say is let's sit tight and watch what happens. And what are we going to do? We're going to pray. Fast and pray if you can. I fasted until I couldn't fast anymore today. And we don't, you know, we, we've been fasting three days at the beginning of each month for this. So keep doing that. Um, and then this was Ray Wren. The International Monetary Fund stated that they are finished with the RV and have released everything to the individual countries. Woo-hoo. So that's Ray Wren as of today. Um, Bruce, obviously, he was on last night. It says, I believe that this is going to happen sooner than Christmas. Everything that we're getting yesterday and today is pointing toward this happening very soon. We are right at the precipice of this thing happening. I think we're looking at getting this done and having a wonderful Christmas moving into the new year with prosperity. Oh, we can only hope and pray, right? Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this news. Are you excited? Um, please subscribe, tap the bell if you like these summaries, or please share it with other people that have these currencies if they haven't heard of my channel and the summaries. This was Frank 26. Citizens are now being told in Iraqi banks about the monetary reform. Why? Frank says, I told you there would be a massive campaign of education of monetary reform. The banks are allowed to answer all the questions now, which... He was on last night. I didn't get a chance to watch him, but uh, that's why I do the summaries for you. The light is coming in funny, but I don't know, whatever. Uh, Walking Stick says, would you care? Would you be upset? Would you throw a tantrum if the Iraqi dinar came out of 50 cents? Nope. No, because it's going to move fast. So once you set that beast out of the cage, it will devour everything. Once you release the Iraqi dinar in an international market in an international basket, oh, that's the point we're trying to make. It's not the rate we seek. It's the release into the basket, into a basket. I agree. I agree. And if you're a ninja client, you already know my strategy. So Hang on to your hats, guys. Don't take the first offer, right? Just wait a little bit. Um, uh, Pimpy says, uh, question, does Iraq need to change your exchange rate in order to be part of a currency basket? Um, this is Pimpy's perspective. In the news lately, Iraq has talked about expanding their currency basket, but somehow, some way, that ended up being that Iraq wanted to be a, card of the, a part of the currency basket. 
I did the research. In order for Iraq to be part of a currency basket, it may need to consider changing its exchange rate. Slow down. Don't get excited. Of course not. We never get excited, Pimpy. We know you don't. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Merry Christmas, dude. Um, it says... It may need to consider changing its exchange rate. If Iraq was actually being invited to join the currency basket, then I would say with confidence Iraq must be doing a very, very, very good to be invited. Good point, Pimpy. We appreciate your positivity in this area. Um, Newshound guru Breitling. Now, this is Breitling. This is an American public. Isn't it? Is it Amer Does anybody know where, where Breitling stems from? I think it's a, I don't know. I think it's a financial uh, pub publication from the U.S., is it not? Question, does Iraq need to RI by December 31st in order to open their 2024 budget? No, is what the answer was. I get that question every year. I don't know why. Who's putting it out there? I don't know. I don't, do you know? Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Comment down below. Just say Merry Christmas, if nothing else. Um, Caperoni says, it is a fact that Iraq could not float the currency under the current economic conditions. It just wouldn't work, especially with close to 90% dependence on oil. That's his perspective. I disagree. God told me it was done. God literally told me it was done, but I have a prophetic gift. Anybody who has a prophetic gift knows it doesn't include time. We don't know when, but it's done. And so I've been preparing you. So if you need to be prepared, if you're not comfortable with all the different strings attached with all the other processes, you need to be contacting me and I'll share my information with you at least schedule a half an hour so you can understand where it came from and why I think the way I do used to be an auditor with Price Waterhouse is important um, uh, Sandy Ingram CIA warns Baghdad of serious consequences if attacks U.S. personnel continue since October 17th the U.S. presence in Syria and Iraq has been under constant threat uh, Jeff remember Jeff I know Jeff my brother's name is Jeff but this is a different Jeff he lives out in uh, Vegas I think you do Jeff right he said, Iraq's about to revalue their currency very soon. There are some major things coming forward starting next year. I agree, Jeff. Thanks for... And then Frank26 said, I believe the new nominations, they're now called lower denominations, will will soon be shown to the citizens of Iraq. Guys, what's going... What's going oh, a militiaman. I will include him in the mix because he's really great. It says the dollar is going away between now and the 20th for commercial purposes. It will not be used as of the same data for taxation in the country. Will they still be able to buy dollars to travel? Yes. Will they be able to use the dollar for transactions of country for commercial purposes? Answers, no. Will they be able to use any other currency other than the dinar for commercial purposes within the country as of January 1? The answer is no. Stand by for this to get really exciting because everything we're seeing is telling me that we've never been here before. I agree. Um, this was Mark Z. I don't think I mentioned him before. It says in Iraq, they are supposedly opening the 2023 budget on December 20th and have to have it supposedly all spent between the 20th and the first of the year when they do their full de-dollarization. There are a whole lot of eyes on Iraq for the next days leading up to the 20th. Something's happening, in his opinion. Comment, I hear the RV will be, will be between the 15th and the 20th, Mark Z. A lot of people are agreeing with you right now. Guys, there's so much going on. That's enough for today, I'm thinking. What do you think? It's 8 minutes in, 8, 11. By the time I add all the funcy, funky stuff... Um, just comment down below. I hope you appreciate this summary and God bless. And this light is funny. So Merry Christmas. I hope you're going to have a very Merry Christmas. Please say Merry Christmas to the group and please join us in our family. You'll never be alone on Christmas. You'll never be alone on any holiday because I go live every single morning for coffee and conversation and I love it. And twice a week we do margaritas and mysteries. So it's a fun group to be a part of. Merry Christmas, whether you join us or not. Bye. Thank you.